Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Brandon Gomez and I'm the owner of Prime Home Leads. And first off, I wanna thank you for visiting my website. I always ask myself, how many people can I help? Who can I help in my lifetime? I truly wanna help people and I wanna help you grow your business. So if you give me just a couple of minutes and watch the, this video, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I can help you. Now, I wanna kinda of give you a little bit of a breakdown of what to expect on the call. So when I do consulting calls, I like to see first off what, um, what your current situation is and what you want the end result to be. And then once I find out what you want the end result to be, it's just a matter of finding the right steps to get you to the end result. So let's say for example, um, cause I've had past clients that have said, you know, uh, we're good on leads, but you know, we're, we're having problems with, um, with sales, um, and, and something with sales like that, it could be a multitude of issues. It could be what you're saying on the call. You know, are you recording your sales calls? You know, because if you're not recording your sales calls, as is the case with some people, you know, um, if you're not recording it, then how are you supposed to track it? You know, if you don't know what, what's going on, if you don't know what the issue is, how can you, how can you resolve it, right? So, um, and another thing, it could be follow-up, you know, so, so it could be, one of the issues could be, um, as we're talking about sales, I'm um, sorry, sales, one of the issues could be follow-up, and one of the issues could be, um, like I said, what you're saying on the sales calls, it could be um, overcoming, I'll just say overcome objections. Maybe your, your people aren't overcoming objections, whatever the case may be, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, and as part of that, I like to uh, introduce business owners, if they haven't heard of it, uh, to something called the triage triangle. It's a, it's a method that I use to basically gauge where um, a business owner's weaknesses are at. So um, it kind of goes more in depth than this, but um, basically there's three parts to any business and one part is leads, the other part is appointments, and the last part is sales. So, you know, um, with leads, you know, there, there's several different ways that you could do uh, with leads. You have, you know, your referrals. So I'll just put R for referrals. Um, you have your website traffic. So I'll put web. You have your website traffic. You have paid traffic, which could be like Facebook, Google, um, that sort of stuff. Um, just to kind of see where, where the business owner is at, where most of their traffic is coming from. And, you know, same thing with appointments. Um, with appointments, you know, you could have booked appointments. How many of those p appointments booked? How many of them showed? And how many no showed? Now, as part of that, you know, like I said, with the previous example with the business owner, um, I did have a, a client that was saying, you know, oh, we're good on, we're good on, uh, we're good on leads, we're good on um, follow up, you know, but when I looked at their their process and systems, I noticed that you know they were only contacting the uh, the lead maybe initially when when they first opted into their website or whatever it may be web, web landing page, um, and then one other follow up and then that was it, you know. So I took his word, but uh, you know upon looking at their their processes and systems, I saw that they didn't really have much of a follow up, you know, and just. A little bit of gold nuggets for some people that may or may not know the average um, um, conversion to a booked booked appointment you need five to seven touch points um, five to seven touch points to convert a sale it takes roughly five to seven touch points to convert 80% of all um, sales 80% of all sales are done after the fifth to seventh touch point. So if you're only following up, you know, once or twice, you know, you're, you're missing out on a large majority of the, um, of your sales. So, um, basically that's how it's going to go, you know, and then when I talk to the business owner, finding out, okay, what they want the end result to be, what their current situation is, and then seeing where they're at on the triage triangle, um, and kind of seeing some weak points, I can kind of gauge where they're at with their business, where they need to improve. And that's typically how I do my consulting, where I help them implement processes, put systems and procedures in place to help them follow the procedures and also uh, implement certain systems, follow-up systems, um, 
build out certain things to help them uh, grow their business that way they can keep track of it and obviously keep track of things such as key performance indicators such as their cost per lead um, cost per booked appointment um, and you know um, cost per acquisition or basically um, basically the cost to acquire a customer now now if this seems like something that could benefit you like I said we'll get on a call I'll see where um, where you're at where you want to go um, help you with the trail triangle and help you actually implement these processes to help explode your business um, double your business whatever the case may be um, you know decrease your no-show rate if the, like I said if this seems like something that could be beneficial to you let's hop on a call um, check out the uh, the calendar below you know book your appointment fill out the uh, the questionnaire that way I can see you know what kind of business you own and you know and like I said then we'll get on a call um, it's a free 45 minute uh, conversation we'll see where we can help you out and if it makes sense then we'll work together all right look forward to hear from you